Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Jeff Klaffenstein. Uh, I am the head of neurovascular surgery here, skull-based surgery here at the University of Illinois College of Medicine Department of Neurosurgery. I'm Tristan Mackey. I'm from uh, Lancaster, South Carolina originally, uh, and I am a first-year resident. My name is Nolan Winslow. I'm from Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm currently a seventh-year resident at OSF St. Francis for Peoria for the Neurosurgery Residency Program. I'm Dr. Sven Ivankovic, one of the PGY-5s. Andrew Sung, MD, uh, head of neurosurgery, University of Illinois, College of Medicine at Peoria. So the Department of Neurosurgery here at University of Illinois, College of Medicine at Peoria is a, is a great one uh, in terms of experience. Uh, we draw from such a large area that our di diversity of patients that we take care of is very high. We are currently a seven-year program. Like most programs across the country, we alternate. We take one resident one year, followed by two the following year, and we stagger that. So the actual number of residents for any given year uh, varies depending on where we are in that stagger. So for uh, first-year neurosurgery residents in particular, uh, we uh, help manage the neurosurgery service, uh, both on the floor and in the ICU. The younger residents, uh, run back and forth taking care of the patients and answering questions and checking on new patients, preparing people for surgery and doing various procedures in the ICU. As you progress along in the program, there's a lot more heavy of an operative experience and a lot more responsibility with that as well. We also have uh, six months total uh, of all service rotations. Uh, we work in trauma, pediatric surgery, uh, and then we also rotate through the neurology department. The mid-level residents will either be taking on calls overnight or working on pediatric surgeries or other general surgeries throughout the day. And as you get geared along towards your latter years, you're in the OR basically every day. Overall, I will say I think it's a, it's a busy place. Uh, we do a lot uh, you know, of bedside procedures, so EVDs, uh, subdural drains. Uh, and we, you know, we have a really high patient volume. And the upper level residents will be doing something such as a chief resident rotation, uh, endovascular rotation, working at our second sister hospital across the street, uh, running their own team over there. There's lots of different roles that the residents play on a day-to-day -day basis. I think U of I here in Peoria provides a great experience uh, that rivals um, any institution within the country. Our graduating residents graduate uh, with volumes, case volumes above the 90th percentile. And what that means is the experience. We provide the experience that's necessary to be a superb neurosurgeon. Uh, not only in the operating room, but in terms of clinical diagnosis. Here is much, very much a medical community. Uh, you know, historically with Caterpillar, uh, there's a large industrial influence. Uh, but as of recent years, uh, medical is the major industry here. We're in a relatively small metropolitan area. Uh, I say less than 300,000, but our catchment is very wide. So we have a a very large medical center, a very large community that really functions like a large metropolitan center, and yet we have all the benefits of a relatively small city, small town feel for those of you who, who find that appealing. Here uh, at the University of Illinois College of Medicine Peoria in OSF, uh, we have Jump Trading Center, uh, which is a, you know, a, a nice addition to our training program because it provides kind of hands-on opportunities, uh, but also provides nice spaces for some of our educational conferences. Jump has been really a blessing for me coming into this program. It really provides a wide array of options that, and things that you can do and kind of helps uh, you know, supplement the learning that you're having in the operating room and in the wards. It really functions and operates somewhat like old school medicine, the old community type medicine that you would see back in the 80s and 90s. Not, not in terms of technology, but in terms of the esprit de corps amongst the medical communities, professionals working together tightly with very good relationships. As a neurosurgical resident uh, in Peoria, the geographical area that we cover is traditionally central Illinois, underneath Chicago and above St. Louis. What you might see in a large city, um, if you were in Chicago, New York, LA, is the exact same pathology here. What comes along with that large catchment area is a very broad and diverse spectrum of pathology. We treat anything and everything, wide variety of cases, um, anywhere from your very big and nasty skull base tumors uh, to 
any type of vascular pathology really and we treat that either via an open or endovascular approach, uh, discuss at our neurovascular conference. We have a high volume of spine deformity cases um, and um, spinal instrumentation and decompression. We have a relatively high volume of brain tumor surgery. And in many cases, because our pathology comes from small towns where people have neglected their healthcare, many of these pathologies have reached the extent to where they're extremely difficult, which is obviously very challenging and, and interesting for us as neurosurgeons. Peoria is a great community to live in. Peoria is a very approachable city. Um, it's spread out and there's things to do, but it doesn't feel large enough that it's restrictive. Another thing is uh, just the, for me, was the city size. Uh, I knew I didn't want to train in a you know, large kind of metropolitan area like Chicago or New York. Uh, I wanted kind of a, a mid-sized city uh, where that was you know, navigable for me as a, a small town uh, country boy. My wife and I really like going out to eat uh, downtown or in Peoria Heights. We go to a lot of concerts actually at the Civic Center. Rush hour, like we say, nowhere is more than 20 minutes away and that's true. Uh, whether that's 3.30 or 4.30 p.m. or whether that's 4 a.m. in the middle of the night. It's a city, but it's not too big. Uh, it has everything you need to kind of keep you comfortable, um, but definitely you don't have to worry about traffic. You're not going to be waiting to park somewhere or stuck in traffic for a long time because you left your house five minutes too late on the way to work. 